Lawrence, what would you do if you had a million dollars? I'll tell you what I'd do, man. Two chicks at the same time, man. Well, what about you now? What would you do? Besides two chicks at the same time? Well, yeah. Nothing. Nothing, huh? I would relax. I would sit on my ass all day. I would do nothing. Well, you don't need a million dollars to do nothing, man. Take a look at my cousin. He's broke, don't do shit. Yo, what's up, you sexy motherfuckers from TSG? My name, of course, is Chris Katera. You may remember me or recognize my voice. I am the guy that had the balls to post Minecraft on TSG, which is primarily a Call of Duty channel. So with that being said, I figured I better come back to TSG with a little Call of Duty. So today I've got some Black Ops 2 action for you on Express, where I end up dropping a double swarm. I'm running that VSAT. You know, once you get the VSAT, the game is over. Running the VSAT puppies and swarm against these scrubs in this lobby. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. What I wanted to talk to you guys about today was... Are you guys getting hyped for Call of Duty Ghosts yet? Usually this time of the year when it's like two to three weeks prior to the next Call of Duty release. And I swear you used to be able to jump up here. Am I wrong? Did they patch this? I look like a noob over here trying to just hump the hell out of this thing. But I swear you could jump up there and end up getting on top of the train. So I end up going around catching this guy trying to peek through the window. And then I hit this guy cap and C. But... What are you guys most anticipating? And I, I should have known that guy was going to be coming. I, that was a goof up on my part. But this time of year, people get really stoked. And this guy got saved by the freaking train. Um, usually you get really hyped. What's that hype factor for Call of Duty Ghosts for you guys? What is it? Is it, you know, is it the fact that it's just the next COD? Are you guys getting tired of COD? Is there anything on Ghost that you've seen so far that has got you get turned? Did you see that? Let's take a look at that again. This guy gets turned on. Look at this. You would almost swear I had aimbot on. But anyway, in the comment section below, what is the hype factor to Call of Duty Ghosts? And I'm talking about what is it about this game that is either going to have you calling into work Telling your parents you can't go to school, or if you're not going to do either one of those, what is going to be where you're at work or at school, where you cannot wait for the day to be over, so you can go home at 5 o'clock after you get off work and jump immediately on some Call of Duty Ghosts, or if you get out of school at 3.30 or whatever, and how did this guy get me? I thought I had a couple guys back there that had my back, but then again, I'm trusting the freaking green triangles and you can't do that, but what about Call of Duty Ghosts has got you hyped to where you cannot wait to play it. Is it the new game types? I know the Blitz, um, what's that one about Search and Destroy? It's a variation of that with the, uh, kind of like, um, Kill Confirmed with the tags. Is it the game types? Is it the different weapons? Is it the different maps? Is it clan ops? Is it squads? What is it about Call of Duty Ghosts that's got you hyped? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm interested in finding out. If anything, some of you people probably aren't even hyped about Call of Duty Ghosts. I understand that Call of Duty is reaching, in my opinion, it's reaching the end of its life cycle. I'm a fanboy of Call of Duty. I, I, but I do understand that there's only so much bullshit that you can throw at the COD community before they turn on you and say, fuck it, I'm going to Battlefield 4 or Titanfall or whatever other games that are coming out that they're pumped about. But... For me, and this is a little bit of a stretch, but I did want to let you guys know what my hype factor is about Call of Duty Ghosts. Dedicated servers. Now, I don't mean dedicated servers as in I'm one of these dipshits out here that think that the Deddy servers is going to cut back on, you know, lag or lag compensation. I'm not, I, I fully understand what the fuck dedicated servers do. And the VSAT helps me out right here. I, I freaking love the VSAT. God almighty, I love it. But the dedicated servers is what's got me pumped about Call of Duty's Ghosts. And what I mean by that is, think about this. And I haven't seen anywhere where it's been confirmed. And if it has, let me know. I'm just, I'm just speaking on my own 
I don't know, wish list, I guess. But, and I pick up these two idiots to end the round, get my puppies going into the second round. But, think about this, guys. Dedicated service. What if we, as a Call of Duty community, can get to the point where we can rent dedicated servers on console? I'm not talking about PC, console. What if we can get to the point where we can rent dedicated servers and set up rules and permissions on our server? And I... With that being said, I do understand there's going to be some people doing some stupid shit. Like, if you run this gun, you'll get kicked. Or if you kill the host of the server, then you'll get kicked. I understand there's going to be some dummies uh, abusing this. And right here, I'm just kind of playing defensive. I'm so I'm one kill away from getting my swarm, so I'm just kind of I'm just kind of chilling in this corner. I'm I'm playing some tactical immobilization. I'm playing wing style so that I can get my swarm, and I pick it up right there, but. I, I understand people will abuse the fact that you may be able to set up rules and stuff like that. But here's here's why I'm looking forward to it. Of course, you're going to have the dummies probably hosting like 10th Master Prestige lobbies and, and boosting their ball sacks off. But if they want to do that on their own server, then then go do it. I don't, I don't really care. Boost your ass off on your own server or boost your ass off in squads. I don't care. Just don't boost in in regular lobbies you know what I'm saying do all that shit on your own but what I think I would probably if I if it's available to rent servers this is what I would do I would rent my own server I would have it available and the only rule and this may piss off some of you guys but the only rule that I would have on my server no freaking snipers none not I don't even mean like you can have one sniper rifle no, none, done. If you're a sniper, you're not playing. I got saved by my swarm. I'm surprised it didn't kill me, but it's no sniping. I hate snipers. I hate you. I hate snipers in Call of Duty. And it may be that I suck playing against snipers. If that's the case, then hey, I suck playing against snipers. I'm not here saying that I'm the best Call of Duty player ever. I just say I don't like snipers and I don't want you in my lobby. So if I have the opportunity to rent a server, and set up some simple ass rules like only these maps should be in rotation on my server or whatever my rule is going to be no snipers you can kiss my ass I don't like snipers I can't stand playing against them everybody wants to tell me it takes special skill to be able to quit scope well take your special skills somewhere the fuck else because I don't want to play against you. I don't like you. And all you people saying, you know, well, in Call of Duty Ghost, you're not going to be able to quickscope. Bullshit. You're still going to be able to quickscope. They said that bullshit to us whenever Black Ops 1 came out. Oh, they neutered the snipers. But you can still quickscope. And you're still going to be able to quickscope in Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't give a fuck who you are, what you say. It's still going to be there. And I just don't want it in uh, my server. So if I have the ability to set up a rule... That even if I just have the ability on a rented dedicated server, you can you can set one rule and one rule to your liking, and it's gonna be no snipers on my server. That's the one rule. I don't give a fuck what else. I'm not I'm not sitting here and I'm not gonna take it to like an MLG level where oh you can't use claymores or or you can't use a sentry gun or whatever other dumbass bullshit rules where this gun's this gun's banned, the dual caps are banned, or whatever. No, 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 no. Y'all can have all that bullshit you want. All that bullshit you want. Snipers? No. Nada. Not happening on my server. So, anyway. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you guys... And here I go picking up my second swarm, but uh, let me know what you guys are hyped about. And then, two, take it to the next level. If you can rent dedicated servers... Would you guys do that? Would you pay to be able to have your own server, your own rules? And if you can, what are your gonna what are your rules gonna be? What are you gonna ban or what are you not gonna allow on your server? Anyway, that's my time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smack that like button, leave a comment in the comment section below. Come on over to my channel. There we go. I go 65 and 4, 6 captures, 12 defends. Come over to my channel and check out my other content. Thunder, I always appreciate you letting me post to TSG and I'm out. Peace. 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 Peace.